Welcome to my Submagic tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough to show you how you can actually upload your video and edit in Submagic using their video editor. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, of course, you can try it for free. If you're already using it in the free stage, I will leave my coupon in the description. You can save a good amount of money when you upgrade. That coupon code is going to be Island, I-S-L-A-N-D. Let's begin. All right, first and foremost, you simply want to upload your video. I shot one for this specific tutorial that I'm going to use, so I'm just going to go in and grab it, and we'll upload it there. Pretty simple to do, right? Find it on your computer, click it, and let's move to the next step. All right, so it's already called Digital Marketing Industry. That's what it's about, so I'm going to keep that. I have English here, which obviously I'm going to keep there, but in case you wanted to choose something different here, you are free to do that. And I'm going to click on Upload. So what it's gonna do is upload and it does it pretty quickly, I'll talk over it. And then as I like to say, auto magically, shall I say, it's gonna do the uh, AI captions as you can see here. And they're, they tend to be very accurate, which is something I really like about Submagic. But once this is done, let's head on over to the video editor and I will walk you through everything that I'm gonna be doing. All right, so here we are in the editor. In case you're not too familiar with it, this is gonna be the main sections that you're gonna to wanna to go through. However, I recommend going in a specific order and I'm gonna have you you know, follow along with me to show you. First thing we're gonna be doing is themes here. Pretty straightforward. What I like doing is playing a little of it and stopping it so now you can actually see what they look like when you go to change the theme. You see what I mean? Like in the beginning, I wasn't talking yet, so I happen to like Dan's the best. You know, if you wanna choose something different, like Alex Formosi, there's three of those, you can, but I think this one looks great. There is the ability to edit it, and it's very easy to do. It's pretty straightforward. Like we have our font here, if you wanna make it heavier, lighter. We have our color, we have our size. If you wanna use uppercase or not, I do like the uppercase. The stroke, which is gonna be around it, I think that just looks fantastic as it is, so I'm gonna keep it, but there's a few things here that you can just kind of play around with if you want. It's gonna be up to you. So it's kind of like what you see here is what you're gonna get. Just click it, change it if you wanna edit it, but I like how that looks there, so let's keep that. And the color and the size. So these are two important things right here. The size we can make a little bit bigger. And when it comes to the position, this is just gonna be moving up and down. As I've talked about previously, you probably don't wanna put it there, you know, right where your face is gonna be. So I think somewhere right around here is gonna be perfect, okay? So let's keep it there. That's gonna be the style overall. Next, let's head on over to the captions. And what I love about this is that the accuracy is generally fantastic. Like it says 99.29. So I usually don't even use this at all. I just kind of skim through and say like, did they get most of it right? Looking at the words, like with these big clickbait titles, a lot of people are just getting annoyed. Uh, someone who's upfront and honest. So if you look in there and you see any weird words, you know, you can always change that. There is the ability to add words to a dictionary. So this overall, I don't mess with too much simply for the fact that Submagic is good at creating AI captions, but you can always take a quick look through. So here's something where I want to skip. I want to do B-rolls last. And the reason for this is because trim is going to be very helpful. So what you can do here is remove silence. I usually speak pretty quickly, just like when I'm doing tutorial videos, I just like going through and through and through. And I know sometimes they're like, people are like, you gotta slow down, James, you're going too fast for me, but there's always the pause button and going back. So if you happen to create a video and you have a lot of silence, say you, do, you say something special and then you pause to think, and then you come back with it, there is the ability to remove silence. So I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have any in here, but if you wanted to do that, you click on this, and it says no silence to remove as expected, right? So if you happen to do a few pauses, that's where you can remove that, which is always cool. On the other hand, trim is great because we can take out any specific section on this. So all this I thought was pretty good. So let's just say I want to add something in. So say we want to do in this specific scenario. So in this scenario, let's say I just wanted to click on this and we wanted to delete that. I can just do in this scenario. So what it's gonna do is cut out this word and go straight to that. So I can even get rid of this too if I want. We can cut this out. You can actually just like drag it too as well. Sometimes it'll take the whole sentence like that. So you can also undo. What I like doing here is just clicking on the word since it's only a few. And let's go back over here. Let me, uh, perfect. So there we go. You just gotta click a little bit and you know, you're gonna get through it. So probably what I should have done is have you listen to it before. So I'm gonna just go like this and we're gonna do undo. So what I wanna do is play from here just to kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna sound like. So let's play. In this specific scenario, quality is so much better than quantity. All right, so now what I can do, let's just start it say like right here. I'm of the best audience possible. Quality is so much better than quantity. There we go. So if you wanted to trim a specific section of it, you can always do that and just, you know, simply clicking on it. 
uh, we'll have it do it like that. So a few clicks of your mouse and you can change that around. But overall, I like this. And the reason why I say you want to do trim before you do B-rolls, because for example, say you're going in and you're adding B-rolls on like this statement about quality is so much better than quantity or in this specific scenario. If you remove a section of it, it's going to remove the B-roll with it, of course, right? It makes sense. So let's just say you put a whole B-roll for here and then you took it out. You're just kind of doing extra work up front that you don't need to. You can also save it too when you're getting going. So we're done with here. If you want to trim anything, you know how to do it. Now we can go to the B-rolls. This is going to be the fun part. So I don't know about you, but I think that the state of the digital marketing industry is quickly changing. So I want to keep that because I'm going to be in the beginning, but let's say we want to move here. So we have like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So we have these big clickbait titles. What we can do here is click on any word where we want to get a B-roll. So for this, I'm just going to go with Instagram, right? And anytime you click on a word, you can search for the B-roll. This is going to be the videos. You can search for a GIF. You can search for an image or you can split into a new line. So in case you want to just like get a B-roll for something separate by itself, that's why you would want to split it into a new line. But for this example, let's search for a B-roll here. We have Instagram already searching. And as you can see, there's going to be plenty of them. This one actually looks pretty good because we got two people using it. How about this one where it's just like up front, a lot of videos, or we could do this one to kind of showcase that a lot of people are gonna be using it at once. Let's go with that. Let's do apply. And now what you wanna do is the position. So with this one, you can position it with a lot of people using it, you know, if you generally too. And given the fact that it's like harder to see, actually, if we look on the right there, that's not too bad, right? I could use that one. We also have transition animation. I like film burn. I know it's gonna look funny right here, but when it actually goes through, it looks pretty good. We have film burn two, we have glitch, we have vintage, we have film broil, zoom out, zoom fast, comic, and uh, zoom slow. I'm gonna go with film burn. Let's add that in. Okay, so now we have it for that. Keep in mind, it's just gonna play on this one and sometimes it just runs a little bit into the next one, which is fine. Uh, let's go where we can also put a better one. So like lazy people. There we go, let's search for B-roll, lazy. <laughs> Something like this is gonna be really fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think this one looks good. There we go, perfect. Let's apply. Let's see, positioning. Remember, that person's gonna be falling into the couch, so kind of keep it like that, right? And we can also start from a specific spot too, so play the video to select where it starts from. I think that would be fine, right? We can just cancel that, we can see how it looks, and once again, we can do film burn, and we can do apply. Okay, and let's just go over here, let's say we wanted to add an image, so we can click on opposite and we can do GIF. Let's see if there's anything for the opposite. That's the opposite of what I said. You know, today is opposite day. This is perfect. Like it's silly, it's funny, and we can add this in. Let's do apply. And where it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to see, right? We gotta make it bigger, and then we wanna move it up right here. I think that's gonna be perfect. Do we wanna make it a little bit bigger? Something like that, right? And right there, and we can apply. Perfect, so now we're gonna have that one for there. And what we can do is just click on save. There's one more thing I wanna do. Let's go to boost. This is a nice little section here. So this is AI hook title. If we turn this on, it's gonna give us a nice title that we can utilize thanks to AI. So let's do this. It's gonna generate it. It's not gonna take too long. And there we go, the ultimate digital marketing secret. So this is gonna be in the beginning. If we don't like that one, let me, oh, let me stop. Let's regenerate the new era of honesty. That one's pretty good, but let's just do another one, right? All right, so I think this one is actually the best. We have bold marketing truths and it's gonna use the colors that we had previously. So we can use yellow, we can use red. I like green here. And I think I wanna make it a little bit bigger like that and we can position this right here. And I think that's gonna be great. We also have AI descriptions and hashtags. So like when you go to post this, say somewhere, you can utilize this. Uh, tired of clickbait and false promises in digital marketing, discover why honesty and quality are key for success. What I wanna do here is simply click on save and I'm just gonna show you it. That's gonna be the very quick tutorial and we can finally watch the finished product. There we go. So let's play. I'm not gonna say anything. It's 36 seconds long and here we go. I don't know about you, but I think that the state of the digital marketing industry is quickly changing. You have so many videos, say, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, with these big clickbait titles, you have these big, bold promises, and a lot of people are just starting to get annoyed of these. The good thing about that, though, is that the complete opposite is now true. 
People want someone who's upfront and honest with them about what it's going to take. While in this process, you're not gonna attract millions of people, because face it, lazy people don't wanna put in the work, but in the process, you're gonna attract some of the best audience possible. In this specific scenario, quality is so much better than quantity. And I don't know about you, but that was fantastic. That was pretty quick too as well. The final touch here is obviously gonna be for exporting it. That's how you can save it. But I hope you enjoyed this Submagic tutorial. I hope it helped you out when it kind of gets you up and running from the start. And of course, some of the tricks were like, you wanna do your B-rolls last in case you trim any of them out. And of course, if that helped you out, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. And if you'd like to upgrade, I will leave my coupon code. Once again, it's in the description. It's gonna be Island, I-S-L-A-N-D. That's gonna allow you to save some money when you upgrade to a paid plan. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.